In this video, I want to look at linked lists and queues. And what I have here in this slide is part of the Java Collections framework. And we see the linked list class right here. And it actually realizes the queue interface. Queue is not an actual class inside of the Java Collections framework, but rather it is implemented through the linked list. There are other types of queues that are inside of here, but we're just going to talk about a basic queue that is used through a linked list in this video. Before we talk about the special relationship between queues and linked lists, let's talk about how a queue works. So first, an item is added to the queue, and then all subsequent items are added directly behind the last one that was added. So Joe goes behind Sue, Bobby goes behind Joe, and finally Sally goes behind Bobby. Now we're ready to remove the items from the queue. Instead of accessing the end to add an item, we access the front to remove an item. And this is going to happen in a FIFO manner or first in, first out. So because Sue was the first person to enter in to our queue, she's going to be the first person removed. Then Joe, then Bobby, and finally Sally. So there's really only two ways to access a queue. You can access the tail and put something after it if you want to insert something, or you can access the head in order to do two things. One, you can just see who's the next person to go in the queue, or you can remove that person from the queue. So let's examine those closer in these next slides. So the first thing that we're going to examine of the three major components of a queue, looking at or accessing the first item, removing the first item, or adding an item to the end of the queue, we're going to look at simply looking at the first item. And I've shown you two data structures that could do this. Both an array list and a linked list could do this. And let's compare their big O's to see whose is better. So in the case with peak or element, it's just looking at the head node and saying what's inside of it. Because we're looking at the head node, we don't care about accessing anywhere inside of the queue. We only care about the head. We don't care about accessing the last element because we're only accessing the first element. And so we look at accessing the first element. Both ArrayList and LinkList have a big O of constant time or one. So it's really a draw when it comes to comparing the two and accessing the first item. The second thing that we're going to look at is adding an item. And the item is added at the end of the queue. So if we wanted to add another item to this queue, we'd have to add it at the end. So let's look at the big O of adding at the end. We don't care about inserting an item into the first slot of the queue because that's not how queue works. We don't care about inserting anywhere because we only insert at the end. And so we can see that we have insert last. And most of the time, for an average case, an array list will have a constant time big O or a big O of 1. But occasionally, it can run out of capacity and have a big O of N. So therefore, the linked list is a better option because it only takes constant time when accessing the end of a queue. And then the final operation that we do with a queue, that is, remove the first item. And that would be the poll or remove methods of the linked list class. So in this case, we're again just looking at the first item. So we don't care about removing an item anywhere inside of the list. We also don't care about removing the last item in the list. All we care about is removing the first item. In an array list, you have to somehow fill the void of what has been removed from the array list or the first item. And therefore, it has a big O of N. Whereas a linked list is not a contiguous block of memory, and the first item can be removed without having to do anything to the rest of the data. So therefore, it has a big O of 1. This is probably the biggest advantage of a linked list over an array list in terms of a queue. And so the advantage goes to the linked list. So if we look at the three things that we just compared, peak element, offer add, pull, and remove, we can see that for looking at the first element, it is going to take constant time for both of them. So therefore, it's a tie. There's a slight advantage with the linked list in terms of adding an item to the end of the list. And that involves the capacity of an array list. And if it runs out of capacity, linked list wouldn't have that problem unless you completely run out of memory. And we find the advantage there is the linked list. And lastly, we have pull or remove. And that is definitely advantage linked list. Because when you remove an item from the front, linked list does not have nearly the penalty that an array list would have. 
the overall result and the reason why queues are oftentimes implemented as linked lists is that for two of the three major operations that you'd want to do with a queue, it has an advantage over an array list.